How's it going guys? So today I want to quickly talk about the three different ways that athletes can learn and the three different forms of communication opportunities that we have as coaches. So the first main thing to keep in mind is that not everybody is going to learn in the manner that you best learn. So it's very important that we understand the three main ways that people can learn. We have visual, auditory, and tactile. Visual, watching people do something, auditory, hearing people tell you something, and then tactile, having people touch you or touching and doing the movement yourself. So the way that this all kind of breaks down from a functional coaching perspective is very simple. Show, tell, and touch. In that order, that's how we execute all of our coaching um, each and every day at our gym, and I'll talk a little bit about how we do that. So uh, first and foremost, we have the walkthrough or the prep phase. This is where we gather our athletes, members of the class, Six to eight minutes, we're going over the movements, we're showing, we are giving verbal cues, and we're getting people prepared to then go execute it. So I know a lot of gyms like to be very brief in that stage, one to two minutes, because they think people are antsy and they think people are zoning out. I promise you that if you're up there giving good, engaging information, that people are not. Every single day is a learning opportunity, and people like to learn, and they soak up the information that you're telling them. So. If we take something like, let's say, a kettlebell swing, and we're up there and we are showing that visual demonstration of that, aggressive, of that aggressive hip drive, which we all know is needed in the kettlebell swing, that's awesome. 65% of people are visual learners. That was a study done by Forbes magazine. So if we are not including that visual component, we're leaving behind the overwhelming majority of how people best learn. So that's a great start to it. But now if we associate an auditory cue with it, we say something like, a violent hip drive on that swing. So we're showing that aggressive hip drive. Now we've cued it with the word violent and people are gonna have a really good understanding of what that hip action is supposed to be like when they go and do that swing. Now the third phase, that tactile cueing, that's on the floor once the workout started, people are going. That might be going up to the athlete and putting a hand in front of the kneecap to prevent them from squatting too much in the swing. So you have all three forms of these communications. You have the show, you have the tell, and you have the touch. And we're executing all three of those within the framework of an hour-long class. We know we're going to hit every athlete and how they best learn. 